All right. Uh, we we gotta we gotta do uh backlog, 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 backlog. Hey everybody, it's time to do the backlog. Will, what's the backlog? Backlog is the segment of the Wolf Den podcast where we go through our entire video game collection, every game we have ever bought. It gets put into an Excel spreadsheet, and today we are going to pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we have played it. How many games are on that list? Right 972. Now? And 593 is the game. 593. It is... All right, this is kind of a cheat. It's the God of War saga for the PlayStation 3. This is a collection of God of War games that contains the original God of War trilogy, plus the two PSP games. Okay, so have you played this game? I have played God of War 1, and that's it. <laughs> so I just found a walkthrough from Big Game Boss on YouTube. Yeah. It is 34 hours long <laughs> of the first three games. I guess. It's so long that the YouTube uh, player says one day and 10 hours. So on the oh, bottom. Jesus Christ. I don't know if you did. Yeah, there is. So yeah, the God of War saga is a collection of five God of War games for the PlayStation 3 released as part of Sony's PlayStation Collections line on August 28th, 2012. Um, it was not released outside of North America. So suck it, Europe. That's interesting. Uh, the collection includes God of War, God of War 2, God of War 3, God of War Chains of Olympus, and God of War Ghosts of Sparta. It features two Blu-ray discs, God of War 1 and 2 on the first one, and God of War 3 on the second, and a voucher to download Chains of Olympus and Ghosts of Sparta. The games retain the same features as their PS3 releases. The collection also includes exclusive bonus content and a voucher for one month of PlayStation Plus. And so you can play the PSP games on the PlayStation 3, right? Yes, but yeah. fun fact, that voucher had an expiration date, so by the time I was ready to redeem it, I couldn't. That's just, really dumb. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. So could you download those on the PSP as well or no? Yo, yeah, it gets saved to your account. Okay. So like, it's safe, it gets saved to your place. So it's account. not like a up res version or anything. No, it's, it's, it's literally like... just the PSP versions. And so yeah. are these remastered versions? They have to be, right? Yeah. They're not like the PS2 completely... games. Are they're, PS... they're PS2 games, but they're like mostly just up res to the PlayStation 3. I think they output in 1080p, smoother I'm frame rate. Pretty sure this is the first game that he's started with yeah this I'd is imagine. the first game and uh this looks great yeah for a for a playstation 2 game that's up res on playstation 3, i mean even on the playstation 2 god of war 1 and 2 were shockingly good looking games like they came out in like 2004 and 2005 mm -hmm. or 2005 2006 respectively so it's like the end of the generation but like you know they look they didn't look like ps2 games they looked like you know first gen uh ps3 games or even like a top tier Xbox game. These were used as like a benchmark for PlayStation 2. People yeah. uh, really loved the God of War series. People yeah. uh, assimilated that with Sony and, yeah. and, and, and PlayStation 2. And uh, it was some of people's favorite PlayStation 2 games. Yeah. So. Uh, f and, you know, if you were to play these games now, though, uh, and you're only like used to the modern God of War games, completely different. Night and day. <laughs> yeah. I, th I mean, you you have the same sort of like uh uh hack and slash stuff going on. Yeah, but like I mean the combat is way more complex than the newer ones. Yeah, it's but, it's overly complex but the new ones. Also, it's like silly, over the top, violent and uh sexualized. Yeah. There's like a lot of like uh, gratuitous gratuitous shit going yeah. on. Uh and that is different in the newer god of wars yeah in the what was it 2018 god of war yeah uh, yeah 2018 that was a huge tonal shift for god of war yeah. so those are completely different types of games yeah uh god of war 2018 and ragnarok are what they call sad dad games yep. this is um this is like a roid rage game where you literally just like move forward and destroy everything in your path but you know what you know for the time and even now like sometimes you just want to walk straight and destroy everything in your path with yeah. very little context you know and like this game provides it gives you the satisfaction of just you know destroying it's like it's like going to um like one of one of those places that that's popular where you just smash tvs with sledgehammers yeah. we got we got one of those uh nearby actually yes um yeah it's it's that satisfaction of just like you know, destroying a sandcastle or whatnot. 
Yeah, no, I get that. I never played these games because uh, we got a PlayStation 2 kind of late. Yeah. We and, got... and I just kind of didn't really need this. I feel like I missed it because uh, they came out before we even got a PlayStation 2. And then uh, I played other like similar hack and slash games and third person uh, adventure games. And yeah. I don't need my third person adventure games to be over the top violent. And that's what this, this <laughs> seemed like the same as those games, yeah. but you can rip people in half. And like, I didn't, I don't really need that. Right. But I, I think this, I don't know if this, I don't know if necessarily this is the right way, but like, I think it tried to go one step further by having like a fairly well told story, uh, a very well done voice acting. You know, it tried to actually sh tell a story of someone who had fallen to his lowest point and was given the option of redemption. It's just that his form of redemption is the most violent form of redemption right. possible. Um, you know, in the first game, you know, you do become the god of war, the Greek god of war. Um, and then the second and third game is all about you trying to kill Zeus, the final Greek god, and basically destroying the entire Greek pantheon. Um so it it does try to like it does try to tell a story you know i'll be you know whether or not it like holds up in this day and age especially compared to like the newer god of wars where yeah. like story is the entire focus i get it it's like a big grand epic and it gets bigger and bigger in scale the more the more you go through the game yeah. uh and it seems really cool yeah i just feel like I, I completely missed it uh i'm sure they're good on the psp and the vita uh those games yeah uh there's not like i've been you know doing like psp emulation and vita emulation mm -hmm. and there just really isn't that many like play yeah <laughs> so uh my understanding is like th those games do like capture the spirit of the ps2 games very well mm -hmm. you know because those games like even though you know they're graphically impressive like they're fairly simple they're really just you know old-fashioned beat-em-ups and hack and slashes yeah so those might be good uh to try on handheld yeah yeah um and also, too, like, you know, in the wake of God of War, there were a lot of God of War clones out there. A lot of games saw the success of this and tried to emulate in their own way uh, the Darksiders, uh, the Darks, no, Darksiders, Darkstalkers is a funny name. Darksiders series tried to do this. Uh, Dante's Inferno tried. To, yes. Dante's Inferno was literally this. Dante's Inferno I played. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was OK. Yeah. But it was literally just it was literally God, just God of, War, of War like years after God of War. Yeah um so yeah i i mean it's kind of a cheat because it's five games technically three because the voucher doesn't work anymore <laughs> um but if you want to play god of war and you have a playstation 3 this is a great way to do it uh i i don't know what the status of the god of war the original god of war games are right now i know they remastered god of war 3 for playstation 4 I don't know if the first two games are playable right now on PS4 or PS5. Um, I mean, Sony used to do this back in the PS3 day because, like, you couldn't play PS2 games. So they would just re-release PS2 games in collections like this. Like, they did the Jack and Daxter series, the Sly Cooper series. They did the Resistance series. I don't like hate this. that. I think yeah, that's I fine. think that's a, that's a good way to, especially older games, yeah. you know, get them out there. Uh, I would like to see them do this now. Like that, do like a PS5 collection of these God of War games, or like yeah. you know the the Ratchet and Clank game. You no, know? yeah. So, uh, how far did you get in the first? one? I didn't get very far. Okay, I know. I I I mean, honestly, I played the the original game on a PS2. I didn't even play this. <laughs> you know, I had it because like I wanted to play them, and I have them in case I ever get the time to play them. But my PS3 is in storage right now. <laughs> okay so i will not be playing it i get the idea yeah uh hey thanks for watching the backlog everybody uh we'll uh get you on a podcast everybody who's watching the podcast you stay yeah everyone who's watching the backlog goodbye bye